Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1118. It's Lead Pedal Q&A, which means we have uh, got a, a question from a listener uh, and um, they want to know the answer. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Anyway, today's uh, question is, uh, choosing between a flatbed and a van company is a new driver. Which one should they go for? Well, you know what? It's, uh, that's a really actually a lot of personal, a lot of personal issues in that question, but we will attempt to answer it right after this. So there you go. There's a flatbed in company for you anyway. All right. So this came through from uh, on, on our socials from I'm a Titan Maine. I don't know if that's uh, their act, that's their handle. I guess we're using handles. Hey, that's what social is good for. All right. So the question is, I have a question for veteran drivers. I just got two job offers, one from a, a, tr- a van company and the other from a flatbed company. Which one do you recommend as a starter company for a guy that just got a CDL? Pros and cons. Appreciate it. Also, so aware that one is a flatbed company, the other one's not. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So if you are a brand new driver, um, this is going to be a personal choice. Uh, not everybody is fit for flatbed. All right. I'm going to say that right out front. I'm one of them. Uh, I can do it. I've done it. I've hauled stuff. I've hauled steel. I've hauled chemical. Hauled stuff flatbed. Can't say it's my my wheelhouse. But it might be your wheelhouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what should you do? Well, if you're a new driver and you're fit and you're young, and uh, I would certainly go to flatbed. Now, I'll, go, I'll, I'll say this for a couple of reasons. There's nothing wrong with a van company. All right? So depending on, um, you've got to look at more than just the freight. you got to look at where are they sending you, when, what's your home time going to be, um, you know, uh is it conducive to your personal life? Do you have any limitations that's going to make it a problem for you to to do flatbed? Do you have the proper training? Uh, something rolls off a truck. You don't want to be the one that's uh, doing that. So there's some basics there that you have to figure out more than just the freight. Uh, probably the home time and that kind of thing and the training and uh, all of that stuff. As a new driver, that is very, very important. So let's get to the freight part of it now. So freight, uh, I would encourage you to go try the flatbed um you know some people love there's drivers that love flatbed they don't want to see they don't want they don't even know what to do with doors and opening doors there's other drivers that like i fell into the hazmat part of it i enjoyed that part just because i enjoyed um i enjoyed i'm kind of a you know check the box kind of guy so that's that fit for me that's my personality i like the way that um when you haul when you haul a hazmat and flatbed and stuff like that it takes some of the hurry out of it you know you always see that it's the van drivers who always seem to be in a hurry they're trying to make that dock delivery or whatever whereas flatbed van oversize it's a bit of a slower momentum you still got to be there on time but at the same time they um you know companies are kind of set up for you differently um you know they they're they're more prepared for what's what's going to happen when you're when you're unloading and so i always found it to be a different environment than uh, someone running a van nothing against guys who run a van we all need to run a van so 
as a new driver, I would encourage you to try flatbed. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it forever, but try it. L- at least you'll know that whether you like it or not and what's involved. Whereas if you go to a van first, you're never really going to know, is flatbed available? Is it something that you want to do? So I would certainly try it. I would go there. Second of all, you usually get paid more money for flatbed because there's things like tarping. Sometimes they pay separately. They'll pay you by mile and then so much for tarping. Sometimes they roll it all up into one price. So you're probably going to get paid more. Uh, to do flatbed. So I would encourage, that's the second reason I would encourage flatbed. Third, you won't have to join the gym. Flatbed is pretty, uh, you know, you know, guys do flatbed just to stay in shape. Uh, you know, you're on and off trailers, you're strapping things down, you're chaining, you're lifting uh, wood, whatever it is you're doing with your flatbed, you know, operation. Uh, so you're moving. Uh, so you're not, you're going to get some exercise on the road, whether you go to a gym or not. So, so for, there's three reasons where I would go to flatbed first anyway, just for that, just for, to make sure that you try it and understand what it is and know whether you like it or not for the future. Um, you're going to get paid more to do flatbed and you're going to be more physically fit doing flatbed bed. Okay. So there's three things. Now here's the fourth thing and probably the more important of the, the, the pieces, the way our world is going, especially with autonomous vehicles, van work is going to be the first one to go. When they figure out how to get things from A to B without a driver, the van stuff is the first to go. So specializing is going to be a way that keeps you employed for a longer time and flatbed tanker, any of that kind of stuff is where you want to go. So you certainly want to look into that because that is going to be the game changer for you as far as staying employed. Uh, If you decide you can still haul a van, you can still go work for a van company after that if you don't like flatbed, but at least you will have those skills and understand what it takes to tarp and all that. And it may lead to other things like oversize and all of that. So everybody's got their special little skill. Everybody's got their likes and dislikes. Um, As a new driver, I always encourage newer drivers to uh, go and experience as much as you can. I hate when I hear people say, well, I think I'm going to run van. I'm just going to run local and I'm going to step by. Okay. If you're doing that for personal reasons, you know, you got to be home or whatever. It's one thing, but if you're just afraid to get out there on the road, go on the road, experience it, learn every, you know, experience all the things you've learned in your training. And uh, most companies, if they, they're a decent company, they're going to hold your hand. They're going to make sure you're trained and you're okay on the road. So get out there and experience it. If you don't like it, you can always revert back to something else, but at least you know you've tried it. Whereas if you do the other way and you you don't use some of the skills you've learned in training, then after a while you forget and now you're going to go back out there and forget what you're doing and you'll be even more scared. So I would encourage flatbed first if I had to choose. Now, um, that doesn't mean one company is better than the other. It just means one has more one certain type of freight than another. So at least you'll have some skills there that you can build on. So I would certainly suggest flatbed first if you can. Uh, Again, it's not just about the freight though. It's about, um, you know, when will they get you home? Where do you run the equipment? Do you have the training? A lot of that other stuff goes in there and will decide which company is best for you. All right. But I would certainly, uh, based on the information here, I would encourage flatbed. And uh, make sure you know that all of our information uh, is uh, lead pedal Q&A is all general information. So please, please talk to a professional, talk to a recruiter, talk to somebody else about this, especially your spouse if you have one. Um, And make sure you understand what information you're getting and make sure you're choosing things correctly because that could be a big issue as to whether you're successful or not in this industry.
All right, so there you go. So uh, uh, check us out, and uh, good luck. You, good luck. Uh, thanks for the question there, Titan Maine. Really appreciate that. And um, yeah, I would uh, make sure you're making a, a proper decision when you're um, when you're choosing a company. It's not just about the freight uh, or the money. It's about home time. It's all combined together. And uh, if you're a new driver training 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 the finishing program is the first thing you should ask what kind of finishing program do they have hey make sure you follow us we've got all kinds of stuff going on we're on all the social networks instagram facebook twitter x tiktok linkedin youtube and uh you can find our podcast on uh, popular podcast platforms and also mud puddle radio for some of our great entertainment coverage all right my friends talk to you later be good out there we'll see you next time This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.